ready for fans anonymous. I know I am. Hey, hey, hey. It's obvious, tune into Phantoms Anonymous They talk about everything from Batman to Pocahontas Leave you in astonishment, let be the Mario Odyssey is going down, girls and boys, pick up your phone and follow me Malcolm's always delivering, just like Domino's The newest breaking news, like who just got the new movie role So get a snack and relax your toes It's time to get the knowledge from the pros, let's go What's going on, everybody? We're here today to talk about a series of unfortunate events, season two, Netflix. I know I'm way behind because it definitely came out in March, but I finally caught up to it. I finally was able to finish it. I'm catching up on a lot of stuff that I've missed. Uh, so you guys are going to see a lot of content coming up soon where it's just everything compiled into one video. Uh, season two is very, very dark and scary and just horrible. We finally got to learn what the eyeglass symbol mean. And it is basically three letters, the VFD. Uh, volunteer Fire Department, and these people that belong to the Volunteer Fire Department, including Count Olaf and Aunt Josephine and and all of the different cast and host of people that we've met, Jacqueline and uh, Jock, Jock Snicket, which is Lemony Snicket's brother, and Lemony as well, they all belong to the VFD, and they were Volunteer Firefighter Department, but they also put out other fires as well along the way from different type of legal situations, uh, situations with different countries. So they did a lot of different things. But what happened was you had a group of that, though, a group out of those people, including Count Olaf, who wanted to, in a sense, start fires instead of put them out. So we also meet up with these twins, where they actually are triplets called the Quagmires. Their family was burned in the fire as well, and apparently their brother Quigley died, but apparently Quigley may or may not be dead. And there's also somebody that might have survived the Baudelaire's fire as well. So we really don't know. We do see a mystery woman at the very end of season two. Uh, Count Olaf gets more and more and more and more mischievous as this season goes on. He gets some very serious plots. They go to a lot of different locations. And from what I'm seeing and from what people are also telling me that this is sticking so heavily to the books, it's not even funny how deeply it's connecting to the books. I truly, truly, truly enjoyed this season. Um, we meet so many different new characters, like the the, the librarian from the Austere Academy who end up joining the VFD and falling in love with Jock Snicket and just a host of different people. We get more background on Jacqueline. We get more background on on the VFD itself. Uh, we, we moved to so many different locations and set pieces and uh, and listening to an um, interview with my man Neil Patrick Harris basically said that, you know, all of this is done on a sound stage. You know, these stages for these locations, they're always, they're built up. And I just thought that that was just absolutely amazing. They're actually spending the money and the time to build these and these stages to do this acting and, and, and prepare these episodes. So season three is already being filmed right now. But just the tenacity that this season had to go even more darker. And again, like I said, this comes from the books, but to see it actually happen out in live action. A couple of theories moving forward. Um, Limited Snicket was in love with Beatrice, which we're finding out that Beatrice is the Baudelaire's mother. Uh, and she wrote him a 200 page book to tell him why they couldn't be together. Uh, and Mr. Poe, my wife came up with this theory. My wife said Mr. Poe really has something to do with the Baudelaire children and the orphans. She said he's always coughing. Maybe it's because he got some of that soot in his throat from helping set the fire for the Baudelaire's. I think that is very, 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 very plausible that he is always coughing. And I added to that theory on the fact that he is always the one responsible for taking the children to the next place. And Count Olaf always seems to find out where the children have gone to next. So I really want to see what's going to happen in season three. I really want to see some more backstory on Mr. Poe. Where did he come from? Why is he here? Who asked him to be here? How did he get into this position that he's in in the first place? Let me know what you guys thought about season two of a series of unfortunate events in the comments below. And we'll see you guys in another video. Check it, it's Phantoms Anonymous in the spot Gonna let you know what's poppin', let you know what's hot About all the different cons, movies, and TV shows Funko Pops, games, and more, whoa, so here we go 
From Marvel to DC, Transformers like Bumblebee, we got all your fandom needs. So sit back and relax and enjoy the views. Leave a like and subscribe. Check in on Facebook to stay tuned.